Hey there guys, Trogdor here. And if you're watching this video, you are interested in how a T flip flop works and how to hook it up to this door probably in particular or any door. And I will uh, explain that in short detail right now. So what is a T flip flop? A T flip flop is a small little uh, component of it's basically a latch and if you don't know what a latch is it's a uh, redstone and uh, basically just logic in general that's what a latch is but you don't need to know what that is basically all it is is a glorified lever that's what you can think of it as, as it is. and it actually is more than just that but we can think of it that way so what does a lever do? A lever, if we go over here, uh, has two states. It has an off state and an on state. And that's it. It has an input. And when you toggle the input, it goes from off to on or on to off. So if we look at this, this thing has an input, which is this button. The output's right here. If we toggle the input, the thing toggles from off to on or on to off. So they act very similar. So why do you need a T flip flop? Well, there's a few reasons. If you want a button instead of a lever, that's one of the reasons. Uh, Another reason is a lever cannot be manipulated by redstone. A T flip flop can. So I could actually take power and I can bring it all the way over here. I'm going to need that so the item doesn't fly out. But now the button can come over here. So if I press the button now thing turns on, thing turns off. So this can be manipulated by redstone and that means if you're one of the people that wanted a way to close it from the inside, for instance in my last uh, Jeb door video a lot of you wanted to know that, uh, T flip flop is your answer because you can hook up another button over on this side if you want. So let's say I bring this over here like this now we got a button on the other side and it will do the same thing so it turns on turns off now this is only one T flip flop design but this is probably one of my favorite ones so this is the one I will show you any T flip flop will work with this tutorial because I'm just going to show you how to hook up a T flip flop so there's a couple things to note if I delete that delete this delete this your input for your T flip flop will well for this T flip flop at least will be this top dropper so that's your input you will put a repeater to that if you need to uh, control that and your output is this comparator right here now you need to take note of both those things because basically all redstone is is hooking up inputs to outputs of a lot of different circuits and when you do that you get a lot of different uh, results and that's how you get a whole bunch of complex redstone. So in order to hook this up to that door we would have to hook this output right here to the input on the door and during the tutorial and all my tutorials for that matter I tell you where the uh, input to the contraption is for this specific reason so you can add more stuff to it if you want so to start off I'm going to get rid of this uh, little test lever and during the tutorial I showed you where the input is the input on this specific door is right here these two redstone dust here now we're going to hook up that to this 
and it's not going to look very pretty because it wasn't designed with a T flip flop in mind. Uh, it was designed to be small, which it is. So for this one, I'm going to make a T flip flop right on top of the door. So I'm going to place a dropper right there facing up. A dropper right there facing that way. Then a hopper going into the bottom dropper. Then if we go into this hopper, we can place any item into that hopper. It doesn't matter what it is. And it will go into the bottom dropper. And then we place our redstone comparator right here. That's our T flip flop. Now the output's right here, so we need to hook this up to this. And I'm going to do that by taking a block. I'm going to put a block in front of that comparator. And I'm going to put a block right there. Note that this door uh, will come out this far. Uh, so from that block, we're going to place a dust underneath it. We're going to take a redstone comparator and place it right there. And then we're going to place a block in front of that redstone repeater. I think I called it a comparator. That's a repeater. So now, this output is hooked up all the way to this input via this repeater and dust. So now all we have to do is decide where we want our button. So, uh, since this is a hidden door, you probably wouldn't put it right next to it anyways, but let's just say we put it right here. Or, I'm going to place it up one. So all we have to do is hook up this button to that. Uh, top dropper because I said that was the input to the T flip flop. So to do that, we're going to take a redstone repeater, place it into the top dropper, and we're just going to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab out some half slabs just to walk this up. So we're going to place a dust there, and we're going to make a dust ladder by doing this, like that, like that, then like that, and like that. So now we're going to take the dust and just go right up. So now our button is hooked up to the input of our T flip flop, which is hooked up to the input of our door. So now if we click this button, it will toggle the T flip flop and shut our door. If I press it again, it will toggle it again and open our door. Now say we want a button on this side, we'll just make our little wall. It's not going to look the best but this is just for demonstration purposes doesn't matter where you want to put this you can put this anywhere so I'm going to put it right there so the buttons on this block right here we just hook this block up with dust uh, so I'll put a half slab there and put dust right there now it's hooked up to the same line as the other button and it will toggle that T flip flop just like the other one so if I press it, it closes up, press it, and it opens. So now, and this was the biggest complaint, I didn't explain this in the last video, I didn't think it needed to be explained, but apparently I was wrong. So now we have a input on this side that we can go in. Now we can go through the door, and we can shut it from this side, like so and vice versa now we can open it from this side and we can shut it from the other side if I can get through here it's hard to fly through these small areas but there you go so now it's shut and that is how you hook up a T flip flop to this door in particular 
But again, like I said, on all my builds, I where the input is on it. So you could hook up a T flip flop to any of those builds. Uh, builds that already have T flip flops don't need them. And in that case, you would just hook up more buttons to it. And uh, yeah, I think that will do it for the tutorial, honestly. Uh, remember that this can be any type of T flip flop, and this doesn't have to be this door. It can be any type of door or contraption. Anyways, guys, if you like this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, that is it for today, and I will see you next time. Have a nice day, and bye bye.